just got to you know, focus on, on what we've done to have some success. And that's not to say we're, we're really happy with our, uh, with our game. I think there's still lots of room for improvement. But uh, we're happy with the fact that we're playing well enough to win games right now and uh, keep going in that direction. Well, do you feel it's your, your younger guys, your newer guys? Is it any more of a test, do you think, when they have to play on the road? I mean, you've been mostly home since these guys have been Yeah, but I think our, our road record now speaks for itself. I mean, we're 4-2, and two and uh, our, our young players have played on the road, and so I don't think it's a real big issue. And those same young players played in Toronto the last time uh, we were there. And so, uh, you know, most of them anyways, and maybe not so, but uh, Trotz did and, uh, and Griffith did. So uh, I don't think it's a real big issue, to be honest with you. I think our young guys are, are going with the rest of the team. No, he's not going to make the trip, so uh, he's definitely out for next two. And he's still, uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, is this something you can, you can treat aggressively, or is this just a rest thing? Uh, I can't tell you. Like I said, I'm not going to comment on that injury, but uh, uh, there's a lot of speculations out there, and I can say that the speculations that are out there are wrong. When, when a goaltender um, is having a difficulty against a certain team, as a, as a coach, what is something that you can do to say, say that when a goaltender it, it maybe doesn't have the best of luck against a certain team, as a coach, what can you do to maybe kind of... Oh, I think Tuka's been really good against Toronto. I don't see an issue there. <laughs> I really don't see an issue there, so... Uh, T-shirt. I guess that's my answer there. I mean, right, gets to to, we're, we're not there yet, but, so we got Toronto tomorrow, so my thoughts are on Toronto. <laughs> not making this trip. Mm -hmm. I'll call you when he's a third tomorrow. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is Kevin going to go with you, or is he still back? No uh, I, think, yeah, I think he's making a trip with us. He's still no contact, but uh, you know, he's getting better all the time, and I think uh, right now it's better for him to practice with us. In the team concept, you can do all the uh, low drills that you saw this morning, but the staying out of the battle ones for now. You like those individual questions, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Here we go again. Take it after him. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. Well, it's just how have you thought he's kind of taken to that role and more of a veteran? I'm not sure you talk about, but to me, he's always had the same role here. And that's why I'm saying that is that you know, he defends well, he can move the puck well. Uh, we don't think he's, he's a guy who's going to carry the puck from one end to the other. So nothing's really changed in his, uh, and whether he's playing more minutes or not, I don't think that's a role change. I think I expect him to continue to play the same way, just get more minutes as simple as that. And, you know, when you start complicating guys' with games and, and we start talking about they're playing different roles. I think that's when we get ourselves in trouble as coaches and as players. So we uh, we want him to play the same way, to steady defense and move the puck well and uh, be a, a physical presence, and that's good enough for us. Good change from being like a younger guy with guys are tutoring him to these guys working with a guy like him. Yeah, I think uh, you know when uh, as, a, as a veteran defenseman, you're always going to be looking for him to help out with those little things, but. Uh, I'm going to go back to the tomorrow, too. I, mean, I don't think much follows him, so we're certainly going to learn from, uh, from being with Matt. But I think right now, he's got a lot of confidence in himself, and he seems to be going along pretty good at his own beat. In this segment, have the chances against that you've given up, have they gone down? Yeah, they have. They have. And even last night, you know, and as much as uh, they spent that third period of, the, uh, of getting a lot of shots, uh, I think they had five scoring chances. I think we did. We might have given them maybe five in the first two periods. So, you know, it's a, if you give up 10 scoring chances, it's not a bad thing. And, uh, you know, we, we've been on the on the positive side of the war and against for the most part. But uh, it is going down, believe it or not, uh, the quality chances. There's been some games that uh, I forget which one it was. We gave up a lot. And uh, that was not that long ago. And I don't think I've ever seen that many scoring chances again. So that was a bit of a, uh, an eye opener, I guess. Uh, but since then, it's been a little bit kind of process.